Hey everybody, welcome back. Um, I just ordered some of this needle paint and uh, this was from White Gauges, I think, um, on Amazon. And I just wanted to show you how it's coming. This is the new gauge that I bought and this is the painted. It's not exactly the same color. This one is a little more red and more fluorescent, but um, a little tip, get some brushes. Uh, the brush that comes in this thing is huge and kind of weird. Um, I bought this whole pack of brushes at Joanne for like six bucks. So now I've got tons of different little brushes. Um, this one is the one I chose to use and I've been having good luck with it. And uh, yeah, just put some paper down underneath, nothing fancy. And then I'm using my uh, magnifier deal with a light and going slow. And uh, I'll show you the finished product. So as long as we're at it, I figured I'd do the Speedo needle. Uh, the tack is a replacement. Um, but I did use the original face, but the needle and the mechanism are a replacement. But you can see the difference. The tack is just more red and deeper, saturated. This, of course, is a little more faded. So let's see if we can get them closer. Right now, that's what we're looking at. It's not terrible, but if I can improve it, I will. So I'm going to pull this out, and we're going to paint the Speedo needle. All right, we got the first coat on the Speedo. Let's take a look at the gauge cluster. Not bad. The clock was really bad, the clock uh, hands. Um, you know, still, it's not exactly the same. You can see the battery is the new gauge, the replacement gauge. But I can't really fault uh, the paint because this, the fact is that the replacement may not be the right color. I have a feeling that these four over here that I did with the replacement paint is actually, are actually closer to the original because this one to me seems a little hot, a little red. But um, overall, I mean, you know, you're not going to notice it. Uh, I think it looks way better. I'm glad I did it. And uh, we'll get this one back together and we're going to do one more coat on... The Speedo, I'm going to let that dry a while, though. I'll probably do it later today. Uh, this paint is very thin, and it takes time to dry. All right, we'll check back on the Speedo in a little bit. Okay, you guys remember what it looked like before? Uh, my advice is when you put the paint on, be careful, of course, um, but put it on and then don't poke at it. Just just put it on smooth. I put it on kind of heavy. Um, you can see that it's a little rough, but you know that's only if you're looking at it under a microscope. But um, the key to any painting, you guys, is just put it on smooth. Don't touch it. Let it sit, and then you know let it dry, and then do another coat. This is just two coats. All right, I'm gonna pop it back in, and we'll do a final check. All right, here is the after installment. This is the replacement needle that I bought, and this is the original that I painted. I'm actually very happy with that. Again, I mean, it's, well, I mean, for all practical purposes, it looks the same, I think. Um, anyway, thanks for watching, you guys. Like, subscribe, hit the bell so you get notifications. I'll see you guys later.